Mă mor ce fata nu e în Mara, the meatloaf! Sunday, it's game day. Um, just getting stuff prepared to go here. Fed up my kind of match day dad on my Instagram there. So if you're not following that, give it a follow, Quinn Strength Conditioning. Um, but yeah, getting prepped for the game here. Got my GPS in, got some pain killing gel because just got knocks everywhere, lower back, lats, hamstrings, just everything's a wee bit, wee bit tight at the minute. Um, so yeah, we're playing Greenlaw, up in Greenlaw, so it'll be a tough game for us, but hopefully we can get to one. Um, so yeah, we'll go through this and then hopefully we'll do a shop afterwards and go through the eating for a week, hopefully, if there's enough time. Back home here now. Um, we got beat today by like two points. Bad first half, the wind against us, it just, just wasn't good. Second half was a lot better. Um, but uh, yeah, we still didn't win. It's annoying, like, but gotta get on with it now. Life goes on. I'll tell you, yeah, I'm gonna prep the meals this week and start tracking the food just to have a wee bit more discipline with it because I haven't been doing that and there's just times where I'm maybe uh, not eating the best like and yes even even personal trainers or fitness trainers eat bad too um, so I need to get that in check okay shopping has been acquired I'm going to show you what I got I'm going to do a bit of meal prep here as well and get some lunches and whatnot prepared for the week so yeah, let's uh, let's get into it here. Whoa. Okay, so this is a shopping for the week. Um, so let's go through it here. So we've got the proteins up top. Um, turkey, salmon, bit of bacon, bit of mince, and we've got some frozen chicken over here. Carbs, um, you usually just go rice here or else uh, like frozen baked potatoes. They're quite a handy one too, we've got some um, in the freezer. Lots of veg in, so we've got a pepper, some broccoli, some lettuce, um, carrots, tomatoes. So we're making up a good amount of salads and then just veg in along with it. And then I'll probably mix some frozen veg in with the food as well here. And then just some fruit, so some apples, some bananas and some blueberries and a bit of yogurt. Good for post training and uh, a snack sometimes as well like so. Roughly going to try and get in about uh, four or five meals a day and I'm trying to actually lose a bit of weight or not a bit of weight, I'm trying to lose a bit of body fat. So my calories are probably going to be in around 2,400, maybe slightly more, um, maybe probably closer to 3,000 on the days that I have training or, or a match or something. Um, but generally on normal days I'm going to keep it down to around 2,400. Um, so the plan for this kind of meal prep is a lot of the stuff we've got here is, is already cooked or just ha ha happens to be microwaved. Um, it's like there's cooked salmon here, there's cooked turkey, the baked potatoes just have to be microwaved and the rice has to be microwaved. So, you know, that that's a really good tip, if, even if it means paying a small bit extra for, um, you know, ready-made food, like the rice that you just have to put in the microwave or those baked potatoes, it's probably worth it because it saves you a lot of time preparing. The only thing I really need to prepare here now is just cooking up some of these meats. Um, so I'm going to cook up some chicken, some turkey and some mince and just mixing some veg along with it here. And then everything else is pretty much ready ready to go like because it's all prepared or else it's, uh, you know, salads and stuff. So that's my probably best advice is, you know, if you are doing a big meal prep, don't buy a whole ton of stuff and have it that it's going to take you hours to prepare your food. Try and make it as, as timely as possible. So get the stuff that's already cooked, um, get pre-prepared stuff and use it, you know, because it's going to be a lot handier for you. Um, and the way I'm trying to look at every single meal here is get a good quality protein source in every meal. So, you know, that's obviously the chicken or the turkey or the salmon. And then try and get a good carb source and again, a good source of veg or a good amount of veg. <laughs> So here's the meats and veg prepared. So I just prepared them because they're the ones that actually require a bit of cooking. Um, all my kind of carbs, like potatoes and rice, as I said, or just some other put in the microwave. Um, so that's the only thing that I would need need prepared for the week. So 
yeah there's not a lot to actually prepare because most of the stuff is already ready so so I'm saying it's, it makes life a lot easier when you can get those types of food but we'll probably wrap up tonight I'm going to package these up and then uh, tomorrow we'll take you to the 7am club and we're, uh, we're going to do a recovery workout so I'll probably see you then so we'll do just a bit of mobility throughout this session so we'll just add in your calf mobility alright and yeah. um, we'll just mix it through They're perfect all in there. So it's just the real advantage of that is that because the game was on yesterday you're feeling fatigued. Yeah. So if we were to base that off normal percentages it would probably be we wouldn't hit the percentages so by just using the speed you can it's kinda of auto regulate it depending on how you feel like. That's the reason why we're doing that. Isn't there only like six episodes or something? Uh, fuck. 10 minutes on the minute. Uh, I think you just go for two pull ups. I'm going to try a muscle up on the minute. Arnold presses, Arnold presses go for maybe uh, 15s or 12 and a half, so you have 10 to 15 reps. Bat wings go to the 20s and then uh, just choose the mobility you want. Two, one, go. What? There's a one. Good work. Ah, oh, fuck me. Mormon. What did you think of the game yesterday? First half really shagged this leg. Good, good luck with that decision. Hey. Aye, ah, thanks for that. See you later. Ugh, 7 a.m. club finished and post gym discussions finished. Um, that was a good session. It was really tough, tough on the arms. The well, that strong man stuff is quite, quite heavy on the arms. Um, so it's good. And uh, afterwards, just had a protein shake. I'm taking this uh, Connecticut Pro Release protein at the moment. It's pretty good. And then. Uh, Banana and apple just for the, the carbs afterwards. The Q and A's there, and uh, even though we do Q and A on Instagram, people still will send you a private message after that there, which is a bit annoying because I'm sitting here now with like twenty messages to respond back to, which I could have done if it was just putting a normal Instagram Q and A. So yeah, I'm gonna go through a few of these here. 
and they can send you on like an application form and it basically just tells you details of it. The vitamins, so I'll just show you the vitamins I'm taking. I take uh, two of these organic turmeric, vitamin D3, take two of them, and very active stuff. So um, this company sent it out to me. It's kind of just like a, a multivitamin. Vitamins and all, it's hard to know if they actually do anything, but um, I don't think they can do any harm. So. Thank you.